And then when the urine culture came back, they said I had a streptococcus infection. And that confused me because um, I was under the idea that most urinary tract infections are caused by E. coli. Hi, my name is Jen. I've been struggling with urinary tract infections for around three years now. My issues started at an anime convention on my 35th birthday. Um, I was in a cosplay and it was one of those restricting cosplays where if you pulled it too tight at the bottom, you were at chance of ripping a lot of the fabric just because of the design. So anyway, um, it wasn't easy to use the restroom in the cosplay. And um, unfortunately, I sat on a public toilet that auto cleaned and would just automatically start cleaning the toilet at random um, and I was in the middle of going to the bathroom and that happened to me and I got splashed <laughs> with cleaning fluid and whatever else might have been in uh, the toilet and <laughs> it was embarrassing I wasn't able to really just jump up right and dodge it because I was couldn't rip my pants if I did, so it wasn't exactly the most pleasant situation. So, um, fast forward about two weeks, I'm at the doctor's office. They told me I have a urinary tract infection. Um, and then when the urine culture came back, they said I had a streptococcus infection. And that confused me because, um, I was under the idea that most urinary tract infections are caused by E. coli. So I was just really confused. I was under the impression that most women would get streptococcus urinary tract infections if they were pregnant or after giving birth. Um, so I was just really confused about this. And uh, it brought me back to when I was a kid. Uh, I used to get recurrent streptococcus, strep throat infections, just about every month. Um, and for a few years, my mother would always be bringing me back to the doctor to treat the strep throat. And I uh, started having a similar issue, but in my bladder, where they kept finding streptococcus bacteria just about every month. And uh, I was sent to urology, and um, I got a bunch of tests done and there was nothing wrong with my bladder at all but I would still keep getting these repeated streptococcus urinary tract infections and um, still at a loss as to why um, some doctors had suggested I may be a carrier of streptococcus. Um, one thing I did notice was whenever I went to urology or the doctors, um, they would always prescribe the same three medications to me. And I found that over time, these same three antibiotics weren't solving the problem because my urinary tract infection kept coming back. And I brought it up to the doctors. I was like, could I try a different antibiotic for this infection? Because it's not going away and um they've told me that these three antibiotics should have cured the situation by now but still was getting streptococcus in my urine just about every month so um i actually ended up going online and having an online consultation with a doctor and I had told him that I just kept getting prescribed the same three antibiotics over and over and still getting the same infection back. So uh, he put me on a different antibiotic that's typically not prescribed as much these days, but I was at a loss and I wanted to try something different and he was okay with it. And um, we went through all the possible side effects that could be nasty and I'm like yeah well I want to try I'm tired of these streptococcus infections so I tried the antibiotic and I was free from streptococcus infections for five months straight and that was awesome um 
I still haven't fully recovered from my infections. They still come back from time to time, but I do know to be an advocate for my body and what works for my body. And I just want to put it out there, the healthcare system, sometimes they're just stuck under very strict regulations where they can't give you what you need for some reason because it's a policy or an insurance or just like a hospital or doctor's office rule that like, you know, they've ruled out that something that could potentially just have negative side effects should be avoided. And um, unfortunately, there's a lot of medication that does have negative side effects, but it still helps people during the time they do need that medication. So um, if you feel as though you're willing to risk the side effects to feel better, I definitely recommend it because you might actually be okay. And um, a lot of people are just afraid of those side effects, but they may not actually happen. So um, it's very important to be an advocate for your body and stand up for how you truly feel and make your pain known. Don't let the doctors write you off as like you're playing wolf. They did that to me. Um, it's, it's never okay to dismiss someone's pain, especially when you have a UTI. Um, I ended up going on antidepressants because I was starting to get depressed and anxious from the recurrent urinary tract infections. And I do find that the antidepressants have helped me in my anxiety. Um, I also made it a habit to go to the local petting zoo to visit the goats. Um, I love goats and just being around them made me feel better because I didn't want to actually talk to people about the problems I was having because I felt as though nobody could really relate to me. So um, I found peace with the goats. They could kind of sense something was off, but, you know, they were more than happy to be goats around me. <laughs> they didn't judge me. So, um... Yeah, definitely always try to be your biggest advocate and um, I hope that we can all resolve our urinary tract infections one day and that they stop and I feel the struggle, I really do and um, I wish everyone the best and hopefully there's an amazing solution to end these UTIs in the future. Hi, I'm Denka from Love. I hope you found this video helpful. There's no single approach that will work for everyone when it comes to health, so I invite you to watch more patient videos here or read more stories over on our website, liveutafree.com, and take what resonates with your journey. Remember, it's always best to consult with a clinician before trying something new. If you'd like to share your own story, please get in touch. Our info is in the description. And feel free to reach out with any question about patient stories, finding a clinician, or your own personal experience. Also check out the description below for more helpful resources. If you find these videos valuable and would like to support what we do, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to stay updated when we post new content. Thanks so much for watching and for being part of this community and remember, your story matters.